Hey guys, Mining King here. Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been away for quite some time now and you guys are probably wondering what happened to me. And um, the last video I posted was in July. I made the Mining King news. Uh, I was gonna start doing that, you know, as a every Monday thing. And um, shortly after I posted the video, I got a message from YouTube. And in this message, it stated pretty much that my account was being suspended, pending, you know, their, um, you know, their investigation or whatever you want to call it. And pretty much the outcome was is they um, disabled my account. Uh, they didn't give any reason. They just said you broke the community guidelines, and I didn't believe I did. And I emailed them about once a month, you know, every month, just to try to get the channel back. And recently. I had submitted one about a week ago and I finally got word back that they had made a mistake and that they were going to reinstate my channel. So um, I pretty much made the choice that I was going to come back because um, at this point I'm kind of starting over again because they've I've already lost all my momentum. I was at like 20,000 views total on my channel. I was like at 2,000 watch hours and I was starting to get some headway there and now nobody even watches me anymore because i'm not there and um so i just want to let you let you guys know that i'm back i'm gonna start doing some content about once or twice a week so um so that's that's the plan um so um a lot a lot of things have changed since then my mining farm is you know i've significantly upgraded my mining farm i'm kind of just more in maintenance mode right now um anyways if there's a particular topic or something you guys want me to cover as far as GPU mining or HiveOS or Ravencoin or Ethereum, um, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys want me to do content on. Now, I can't do all kinds of GPU hash rates as I'm not really currently buying GPUs right now because they are insane. But... Um, and even if they weren't, I'm kind of right now I'm maxed out as far as my mining capabilities go because I have literally I have miners all throughout my house and I'm not trying to put them in every room. <laughs> I have them in most rooms. So. Um, so, yeah, it's just um, when you're a home miner, you're kind of limited unless you get into that territory where you're going to build a shed. You're going to run electrical out there and, you know, that kind of stuff gets costly. And that's an investment that you really have to think about if you want to do that, you know, step forward. Um so anyways, guys, um, uh, let's do a quick tour of what, you know, um, my current GPU farm looks like right now because a lot has changed since the last time I posted in July. So. All right, guys. So <laughs> as you can tell from the wall of GPUs, um, this is my uh, guest bedroom right now. Um, right now, I only keep one rig in here because I don't want, um, when people come over, if I have to shut down in this room, I don't want to have to shut down two rigs or a lot of GPUs on, you know, inside this room. So I keep it kind of on the small side. Um, so, but this is my wall of GPU boxes and that doesn't even cover all my GPUs because I did buy some used and I re I repasted them and, you know, um, so there is a couple that don't have boxes, but you know, um, I did acquire a dozen 1660 supers. Um, so that's one pickup I had over the summer you guys missed. Um, so as you can see, we're pulling about total from the wall, about 680 Watts. And this rig right here gets about 200 mega hash. It has, uh, five RX 588 gigs and one 5600 XT on the B150 Zotac motherboard with uh, a uh, HP power supply from Parallel Miner with their CSX breakout board. So let's go, now that we all check that out, why don't we uh, go check out the next room, which is gonna be the laundry room. All right guys, right now we're in my mining room and it's pretty spacious, so I can put some stuff in here. As you see, I got my motorcycle tires I'm about to put on. But, um, so I have two rigs. I got two rigs here. This top rig up here, this has one 3070 right here, a Zotac RTX 3070. And this is a non-LHR. I got this right when it first came out. I think I paid, this is back when they first came out, so I paid a scalper 700 bucks. You can't even find it anywhere. 
And then I have uh, four 1660 Supers, PNYs, which those things, they're not that great for gaming, but I'm gonna tell you what, those things are awesome for mining. They get 32 mega hash all day long at 75 watts. And that's hooked up to a, um, a Z170 gigabyte uh, Aorus motherboard with a 1000 watt uh, EVJ fully modular power supply. And then down below it, this is the rig um, that produces the most. It's like a little over 200 mega hash. And this is my Radeon rig. So in the middle here, on this right here, you can kind of see that this is a RevTech mining motherboard that I picked up. And it's on a uh, server power supply from Parallel Liner. And I have a, this is a 6700 XT right here, the MSI Mech. And then I have two Red Devil uh, RX Vega 56s Radeons. And then I also have a reference AMD RX uh, Vega 56. So these Vegas are just awesome, man. They'll get uh, like 50, 53 mega hash, you know, on like 115, 120 watts. So, and you can pick these up used. I got both of those cards right here, the two Red Devils, I got those for 400 bucks combined. And then this, this one right here, I paid 300 for just because I bought it from somebody else. But, so, it's a good deal, you know? Um, I got them used and I repaced, I took, I took them apart and I put new thermal paste on there and they've been great ever since. Um, I don't like the blower style cars typically because this as you can see right there you can always see i've already cleaned this out twice since the summer and just because of that one singular fan it does accumulate a lot and a lot of dust but i am in arizona so it i i am in a dusty state so let's go take a look at the next set of rigs which is out in my in uh, in my garage you guys kind of see a couple of my motorcycles i got out here so um so this is the this is the newest edition here this is two rigs there are six cards each and um so right here they are these are these really small 1660 supers from zotac i mean here's like a reference <laughs> they're big you put your hand out there from you know from my thumb to my pinky it's about that long and um this does get a little dusty being out in the garage but I clean them, you know, like every two months or so. I just come out here and blow them off and clean them up a little bit. But, so this is the new BTC from ASRock. This is the ASRock H510 BTC. So I have the 12th gen um, Celeron processor on here. So um, it's kind of, you know, uh, they're easy. The, during the summertime, this was easy to get. I, was, I got this motherboard for like 160 bucks because nobody really knew about it yet. I got it right when it first came out. So, um, so yeah, these are pulling about 190 mega hash for all six cards. And uh, I got them on splitters, as you can see. And I got, I, got, uh, I got one box fan over here trying to keep them cool. And then I zap strapped the power supply underneath of this. So this is a 700, no, this is a 850 watt thermal take power supply. 80 plus gold fully modular and i also have this other this is the other power supply and the, the exact same rig down below so i got 12 1660 supers here um and i got my i got my 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 little uh switch down here so yeah and then uh what i did was so i could get internet out to the garage and everybody's like oh you can't run it off wi-fi hey i had it on this I've, now, I've been through two of these because the first one I got overheated and was a pile of crap. But these little network extenders are great. I would recommend this Netgear one. Um, I'll put a link in the comment down below so you guys could check that out if you guys want to get one. I don't have an affiliate link, so it doesn't do anything for me. But I've been through a couple of these, and this one so far has lasted the longest. Most of the time, they overheat, and then they quit actually working. So, um, so this is how I get internet out to my garage. I use this extender, you know, plug my ethernet in here, and then I have a little five port switch down there. So yeah, this is the uh, garage mining. So, and everyone's gonna be like, whoa, Mining King, how much mega hash are you getting now? Right now I'm about 920 uh, mega hash on Hive OS 
and pool side, I'm between like 870 and it'll even fluctuate as high as one giga hash. So the last time you guys see me post, I was at 430 mega hash. I've literally doubled or more my last current, um, you know, my mining farm since the last time you guys seen it. So just another little piece here is this is the, you know, Mining King, uh, I guess you call it like YouTube creator spot. I wouldn't call it a studio. It's in my bedroom because I have nowhere else to put it. And I just pretty much have another big table here. I got some tools I use all the time, like my cutters and I have my iFixit toolkit right here. Really like this thing. And um, yeah, guys, this is this is where the magic happens. So, so anyways, guys, I'm back. Uh, I wanna know what kind of videos that you guys want me to make because I don't just wanna make videos just, you know, for so yeah, I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to make. That's what this channel is about. I'm about making channels for or making videos for you guys. Let me know what you guys want. You guys want some overclocking videos? You want me to show you how to tear apart a GPU and put thermal paste on it? You know, um, you know. Uh, do you guys want me to do recommendations on parts? You guys want me to try to, you know, go, scour the internet and find parts for you and give you guys links to the best deals? Let me know. You guys. Um, I can review some products. I can't review everything because, you know, um, computer parts right now are super expensive. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so all the parts you see I got are what I paid for. So <laughs> I'm not really able just to review everything, but I'll review what I can. Um, if there's a coin you guys want me to look into, let me know. Put it down in the comments. I want to know what you guys want me to make. Put it in the comments and whatever which one you know, even if not all the comments are the same, um, let's say everybody posts something different and nobody has any of the same. If there's if there's some that are in a general topic, I will try to cover that topic as best as I can. All right. So it was great, guys. I'm glad to be back and I look forward to doing videos for you. So uh, stay tuned for the next one.